John Quill, are they happy with President Trump's decision to strike? Well, first, Vicki, Syrians have been dying every single day since the Civil War began, and I'm told any strike or attack that kills more innocent lives is not helping. Everything is terrifying. I mean, I was horrified of what, what was going on two, a couple of days ago. The images from Syria this week are horrifying, but to Syrians in Middle Tennessee, they're nothing new. We've lost more than two million people in this war. The majority of them were under the age of 15. Syrian refugee Kinan al-Rifai moved to Tennessee two and a half years ago from Lebanon. Before that, she fled Syria after the revolution developed into a civil war. Since then, she's lost loved ones to the war in Syria. In the past three months, I've lost my cousin, who is 28 years old in Syria. And after two uh, months, I've lost my uh, uncle too. And both of them died because of the war. Her cousin leaves behind a young daughter. Tuesday's chemical attack was not the first in the war-torn country. In 2013, hundreds of Syrians died in a similar attack. What in the world is happening? Why this war doesn't want to stop? Why this situation is getting worse and worse every day and nothing is changed? Kinan says President Trump's decision to fire Tomahawk missiles at a Syrian airbase, killing a handful of civilians, including children, will not help. They are making this situation worse. Instead, she hopes the U.S. will move forward with a strategy that will not take innocent lives. Uh, something that keep the peace, that keep these people from dying every single day, not by bombing, not by putting uh, another force to bomb in Syria, to fight another force, that's not going to help. Now, Kinan says she still has family in Syria and she worries about them every single day. In the newsroom, I'm Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5.